hi guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to another video if you are new feel most welcome and um thank you so much for subscribing to my channel and if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for coming back you are family and if you are in the premier gang thank you so much for always tuning in i really do appreciate you all for being here yeah so guys um today is a is a spend a day with me vlog so we'll i'll take you through guys the things i'm going to do on this day and it's actually in the morning it's kind of chilly yeah it kind of um, drizzled in the morning so it's kind of chilly that's why i'm wearing a sweater so i want to uh tidy up the house but first i need to make breakfast i normally like take breakfast the last person in this house because in the morning i wake up prepare my baby to go to school yeah so after he, she has left with my hubby i can now do my own things that is cleaning that is if i want to cook on time yeah 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 so right now i want to make a breakfast uh, after making breakfast we'll tidy up and we'll see what we'll have till, till the end of this video so if you've not subscribed please subscribe after watching this video and uh, also tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe don't forget to leave me a sweet comment down there yeah so right about now let's get into the video yeah <laughs> So for breakfast, I was going to have some sweet potatoes with a uh, tea. So here I had already boiled the sweet potatoes. And as you can see, they look so yummy and yellow. That is. Yeah. So after having breakfast, which I did off camera, I am going to clean the living room. Yeah. Whenever your heart is broken, don't ever forget your golden. I will find a light in your soul. I'll be there. I'm taking uh, the green tea and it has lemon. That's lemon green tea. Ketepa. Um, I've got so fond of this tea because it's really nice. Like you can take it without sugar because there's the princess of the uh, lemon inside. Yeah, so right now I'm going to tidy up the living room. Not actually like a deep clean just to ensure the place is well kept. So I'll start by removing the things you have seen on the table because... In the morning, it's kind it's kind of busy in my house. Yeah, at a times we wake up late. I have to prepare my child to go to school. So you touch things. Unaziachilia, unayekahapo. She's there also. Yeah. So after she has gone to school, that is when I take my time to 
tidy up the house here so i'm also going to like spot clean the seats uh, where there are <clears throat> some food drops maybe i will also clean and i'll use the carpet and a full street cleaner that is astonished this cleaner is really nice because the kind of smell it leaves in your house it's really nice yeah so we are going to wipe the seats then afterwards we'll also wipe the table then mop the floors <laughs> So I know some of you say astonish is expensive, but I tell you, you can never go wrong with it because the kind of work it does, this is my top best cleaner. Like astonish products are the best. Yeah, I know there are other cleaners that does an amazing job. But to me, I really do love astonish. If I could have the money, I could just buy all the products from astonish. But again, Uchumi is not on our side so i buy the ones that i really need but astonish products are really really good like this one uh the carpet and a full street cleaner even if if you use it for like uh your carpet or your couch it does an amazing job it really does i will not tell you something that i have not experienced or used i've used this one on both carpet and on the seats and it is not a disappointing one to the tv stand and uh the table i'm going to use the magni oil purpose cleaner this one is also a good one i will always plug you on the best cleaners you know so this one for the smell it's really really nice yes so you can also use this one the problem comes in if you're using uh like a white uh towel that is because the cleaner is green in color as you have seen so it needs maybe a towel that will be easier to wash because the um, uh, liquid itself it's green in color so maybe it may discolor yeah or uh, after cleaning with your towels you can just go ahead and soak them for them not to discolor yeah Baby, you can count on else guys can you spot those uh paints on the wall like can you spot them because where i have a painter in the house so i did a mistake 
is it really a mistake i don't know she has she wanted uh some uh the water is it the watercolor is it the watercolor paints or yeah those ones that they use water to to paint with so i bought those colors for her and my house right now the walls they're looking so bad i don't even know where i'll gather the energy to start cleaning the parts that she painted. She even painted my TV stand. She painted my seats. For the seats, I kind of dealt with them for not to stick too long. But now for the walls, there are, there are places she painted with the crayons and there are no places she used the paint itself, the, the, the watercolor paints. So I don't know if I'm supposed to like keep them away or what because again, she's a child and she'll need them or nikwetu mkali so that asishike the walls but now nimekuwa mkali for like several times na ni kama husky so i'll be giving her to paint but i'm seated there once she's done i take them and put them away because where this character development i'm seeing on the walls no i can't just deal with this i can't and i don't have an extra room where she she can just sit with her paints and paint all over so when she'll be painting, it's me and her on that table. And once she's done, I take those paints and put them away. That I think that is the best thing I'll do. So I prefer sweeping first before mopping. That is to get the assurance that all the particles from the floor are gone. Yeah. So I'm going to mop the floors. And to mop the floors, I will use the Magni Floor Cleaner. Uh, um, actually, the lavender one. This is my best. I don't like the one for lemon. I prefer this one for lavender because it has a very nice smell. Yeah. So that's what I'm going to use to mop the floors. Now it's lunch time and uh, since I'm alone I want to prepare something light for myself and I am going to uh, prepare some potato wedges yeah this is quite a very simple recipe if you don't know how 
to prepare for tattoo wages just keep it locked here and you will get to learn today so i have these potatoes that i had bought from uh, a lo our local market so i'm going to peel some which after making the potato wedges i will also make some kachumbari then have eat for lunch so that is basically what i'll eat for lunch and some i don't eat lunch like every day sometimes i don't take lunch yeah but it depends with the work i've done it also depends with what i feel like eating yeah so let's make these potato wedges <laughs> So after peeling and cutting the potatoes into chips, uh, chips what, chip size or what, yeah, whatever. So I will add in uh, some, then after washing them, I will add in some paprika. And at this point, if you want to add uh, like um, the black pepper, you can do. For me, I'll not because I'm going to leave some for my girl. So I'll add some paprika, then some salt, spread some oil using the brush on uh, the pan, as you have seen. Then we'll put them in the oven for like 15 minutes and then that's it you said 15 minutes under 180 degrees or 200 degrees yeah you let them cook for a while or bake for a while that is then your potatoes wedges are ready to be served with anything that you may want behind your back so as you can see they're ready the good thing that i love with these potatoes wedges is that you'll not use a lot of oil so there's less consumption of oil something else you can boil your potatoes first then spice them up a la fu bake them in the oven if you prefer that way but for me this is the easiest quick 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 like you get to prepare something quick for yourself to have if you are that hungry just 15 minutes and you're good to go yeah so that's how it turned out it was so yummy the slappage was real yeah so try this and tell me on the next video if you love potato wedges or you prefer the fried chips that's the french is it the french chips or the french fries yeah french fries Days when the world is getting darker I have a dream Where love's the only side So take my hand Join the army of the shadows Going harder If we are going to have I want to boil it with uh, some beef masala Then I will also cut some onions, just half onion, plus I uh, will also add some uh, garlic, yeah. So here I've already added uh, some black pepper, just kidogo because of my daughter. Then the yellow, the yellowness you see here is due to the uh, beef masala. So these are onions with uh, garlic just kidogo so i'll put this to boil so i'll cover and let it boil for a while yeah side i'm boiling uh this potato for the potatoes i'm just going to add some salt then i let them boil for a while So as the beef and the potatoes boil, I'm going to prepare some water. That is my hydration water. This recipe I had shown you in um, a video 
<clears throat> back back then yeah it's quite simple i'm just going to use some cucumbers that is uh two cucumbers then i will use onion so you slice your cucumbers into the pieces you have seen and there then you also cut some onions squeeze some and add some into the water then you put it in the fridge if you like cold water that is if you don't prefer it when it's cold you can also take it like that but for me it uh, tastes better when it's in the fridge yeah so that's it for my hydration water yeah So I had boiled the beef with lots of water just is just to get uh some soup and this soup is really healthy like if you're a nursing mom you can take that soup actually not from meat meat but from bones it helps with uh with the milk that is the breastfeeding milk yeah so we are going to uh make the stew and uh, I'm going to use just some onions cooking oil potato not potatoes gosh onions cooking oils uh cooking oil i also have uh some red yellow and green bell peppers so we are going to use those two so first i'll start by frying the onions that is in um uh, cooking oil then i add the red green and yellow uh, capsicum then we'll add some salt let them cook for a while then we add um a tomato paste then we continue with the tomatoes then we let them cook and then we'll add the soup that you see on the bowl beside the pot there so that's it i didn't add water yeah and this turned out really nice just wait and you will see On this other pot, I'm going to fry my uh, potatoes, not like deep fry, just to fry them with some uh, onions. Actually, I usually use uh, the other onions. I don't know if they're the spring onions. Kindly tell me if I'm right. Yeah, they come out really well compared to these these round onions here. Yeah. So here I'm going to mash the potatoes. Then I will add to the pan that is cooking with the onions and that is it for our mashed potatoes for me i don't add butter or margarine because i have an allergy of those like it reacts with my face if i try and eat them directly 
all through this meal i will wake up tomorrow with lots of pimples on my face and we don't want that we don't want that so i will just this is my way my preferable way i just use oil with some onions and that's it and they turn out really nice remember i had boiled with salt so i'm not going to add salt yeah and uh, right here our meals are ready our meal is ready so i'm going to serve and you'll see the turnout so guys that is how our dinner turned out it was really yummy so you can tell me in the comment section if you're a fan of mashed potatoes with beef stew and alongside you can also add some kachumbari if you had desire yeah so we've come to the end of the video and i am so glad that you're here if you watched up to this point thank you so much and if you've watched up to this point and you've not subscribed please hit the subscribe button and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that anytime a video is uploaded on this beautiful channel you will be among those people who are notified it's a bye for now and let's meet on the next video may the lord bless you and protect you wherever you are goodbye